what is the deficit <coughs> what is the deficit with the 5 lakh 10000 5 lakh 10000 975 wait 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 this can be verified this can be verified by preparing a balance sheet by preparing which one a balance sheet start pay attention first we will verify this through a balance sheet mm -hmm. then we will understand or we will uh, uh, i mean uh, learn about how to prepare deficiency account start how the getting balance sheet on 30th june 2017 incorporating all these adjustments incorporating all these adjustments now what is the equity share capital less calls in arrears 1,47,000 then 8% debentures 8% debentures all are 1,50,000 then what are the other things loans mortgage loans first and second charge what is the mortgage loan total 4,12,500 then what is the next one what are the other liabilities work out and tell me or go through and tell me Bank OD how much? 15,000? 58,125 then. Unsecured creditors. Unsecured creditors how much? 296. Same problem we are just verifying how the deficiency comes then. 296,250 approve. Nine. MD, uh, MD salary due, how much? 22,500. 22, then, record all the liabilities, record all the liabilities. Outstanding wages. Outstanding wages. 16,050. 16, then, outstanding wages. Where are you going to Income tax due. For all the years. Full. Add income tax to you. Five two five zero one two seven five two thousand seven hundred. Add up everything. Nine two two five. Then contingent liability. That is payable amount. How much? Eighteen thousand. Then what is the next one? Uh, that is not recorded. A balance sheet that is not recorded. Oh, no, no. We are incorporating all the adjustments. What is it? Debenture interest. Outstanding. Three thousand. Then. What are the realizable value of assets? The old premise is solo. Then? Plant and missionary. One lakh? Plant and missionary, how much? One lakh seventy? Four thousand, then? Cash in and eight twenty five. Now there are two methods of doing it. Right, this equity share capital. If you take the cars in arrear collected, it will come as one lakh forty eight five hundred. The cash balance also will increase when you collect cars in arrears. Okay. Otherwise, just check one lakh forty seven thousand eight twenty five. What is the next one? Datas. What is the value? Realizable value. Realizable value. Realizable value. Realizable value. Then stock realizable value. Thirty three nine hundred.
Anything else? What is the deficit? What is the deficit? 5,10,975. You can verify here. Net deficit 5,10,975. Otherwise, these are the obligations payable. These are the assets realized. So, net deficit including equity shareholders dues 5,10,975. I told you already if calls and arrears is included and the 1500 is included here now you have to add the cash balance also with the same amount. This is a balance sheet method of explaining deficiency but in the exam they will ask you to prepare which account? Deficiency account. Do you understand the logic behind it? These are the obligations payable. These are the obligations payable. But this is the realizable value of asset. So you got a deficit of 5,10,975. Yeah. Don't think it as a balance sheet. These are the things which are realizable. In the, which are there in the asset side. These are the things to be paid including equity shareholders. You have to pay 11,32,650 you have to pay. But realizable amount is less than that. There is a deficit of how much? 5,10,975. Okay. This is just to make you logically understand how the deficit arises. Shall we? Have we taken up? And I told you already, if suppose we would have taken this as 4 lakh, including that calls and arrears collected, this would have been taken at what? Plus 1500. It will be coming as what? 2, 3, 2, 5. Same answer should come. Shall we start at the getting deficiency account? Deficiency account to explain this 5,10,975. How oh, this 5,10,975 came on the market? Shall we proceed? Have you taken up? Start. No one. Yes, okay. Start. Deficiency account. As per list H. This can be prepared like a T format or a statement format but ICA recommends statement format. Start. Deficiency account as per list H below that. Items contributing to deficiency. Items contributing to deficiency. Or you can say contributing to or increasing deficiency. Items contributing to or which one? Increasing the deficiency. Excess of capital and liabilities over assets. It's too technical, right? Nothing but debit balance of P and L account. Capital plus liabilities okay, is more than assets. When you have a debit balance of which account? P and L account. This is will contribute to your deficiency. When you have a negative balance, of course, it will contribute to your deficiency. Next. Trading loss. Trading losses. During the period. During the period means 
from the balance sheet date to current date on the month. During, I mean, from the last balance sheet to the current balance sheet. Then, non-trading losses. This can be loss in realization of assets. Or this may be in the form of settlement of unrecorded liabilities or contingent liabilities During dividend paid during the period will contribute for deficiency. Any other losses? The two line items which I highlighted, these two things happen at the time of dissolution. Loss and realization of assets and which one? Settlement of unrecorded liabilities or contingent liabilities. See, if you settle a contingent li actual liability, that is not a loss. Unrecorded liability, if you pay, that is a loss of money. These are the items contributing which one? Increasing deficiency then. Items. If proposed dividend is already made, if that paid, that is paid. It's a recorded liability proposed dividend. If that is paid, that will not come. If dividend is declared and paid, which is not recorded in balance sheet as a liability, na, that will be called as what? Items contributing to deficiency. Next, separate line. Items reducing the deficiency. Items reducing the deficiency. Excess of Assets over capital and liabilities. I think but P and L account, resource and surplus. Trading income during the period, incomes other than trading incomes, the tick and write the profit on realization of assets or realizing unrecorded asset. Discount in settlement of liabilities <coughs> any other gains all these are like incomes credit the incomes the t format look at represent manla debit sale record all losses credit sale record all gains you'll get one net surplus or deficit Net surplus or which one? Deficit. <coughs> you will get the net surplus or which one? Deficit as an answer. Simple, all these are like losses. Okay, if capital is lesser than your loss assets, it's a loss. Trading losses during the period, non-trading losses during the period, loss in realization of assets. Settling an unrecorded liability is a loss. Dividend paid during the period is kind of a loss. Any other losses? These are all like debits, Madhuri. These are like what? Credits, all incomes and gains you credit, you will get what? Net deficit or what? Surplus. Simple. Item contributing to deficiency, if it is more than items reducing the deficiency, then you will have a net deficit. You will have net deficit. 
Now for the same problem, let us try. Okay, this is balance sheet method of explaining which one? Deficiency. Or we can prepare a statement and explain this deficiency also. Before that, what is the first one we need? Let us analyze the problem. Look at reserves of the company amounted to 7500 and what date is given? 1st July 2016. Which means is it current year or last year? Last year. We are on which date? We are on what date? 30th June 2017. We are on 30th June 2017. Which means resource balance is given one year before. Resource balance is given one year before. Now pay attention. Before even starting the statement, we have to find out is there a profit or loss during 2016-17. Is there a profit or loss during 2016-17? We have to work out. How to work out? How to work out? Profit or loss during which year? 2016-17 you have to take it. What is the capital on 1-4-2016? Capital would have been the same amount. 1 lakh? 1 lakh 47,000 after calls in arrears. What is the resource and surplus given on 1-4-2016? 7,500. Or just take resource and surplus alone that is sufficient. Based on this we can work out. Now is there a resource and surplus on... The date of winding up is given, 1-4-2017 is given. Is it given? Is it given? No, it's not given. How to find out this? Simple, let us prepare a balance sheet. Let us prepare a balance sheet with book value of assets and liabilities. Record the book value of assets, record the book value of liabilities, you will get what? The balancing for us, which one? See, we know assets, we know the external liabilities, we know the capital also. As a balancing for, we will get which one? The, the P and L account debit or credit balance we will get. Based on that we can make out what is the profit or loss. Start. Balance sheet on 1-7-2017. That is before winding up. Before winding up. Now tell me the book values of assets and liabilities. What is the equity share capital? Let us do it together so that we can finish up first. 1 lakh 47,000 upper. Debentures. Debentures are work 1 lakh 50,000. Do not take interest. What is the next one? Loan on mortgage. What is the loan on mortgage? 4 lakh 12,000. Find another idea. Then what is the next one? Credit as well. Credit as well as 2 lakh 96, 250. Then, then, then recorded liability, all recorded liability. MD salary outstanding. Contingent liability will not come. Contingent liability arises at the time of liquidation. Balance sheet like recorded liabilities. So, what is MD salary outstanding? How much? 22,500. 22,500. Up from. What is the next one? Income tax due. Income tax due, the same amount. How much? Earlier balance sheet, 9 to 2, 5. What is the next one? Salary, staff salary. 16,000? Then, anything that is left out? Bank, what do you have? 58, 125, 58, 125. Wait, debenture interest is it a recorded liability in the old balance sheet? No. Contingent liability to be paid arises at the time of what? Winding up. Arises at the time of winding up. So don't consider them. Don't consider them. Then assets everything at book value. Tell me the book value. Three old premises, how much? 4,50,000. Then let us take the book value. Okay, good plus doubtful plus bad. Moon at the book value Book value, everything book value. Yes, sir. Book value. What is the value? Good plus doubtful plus bad. And then what is the next one? 
London missionary, what is the value? Book value. Then, cash in and same value. What is the cash in and? 825. What is the next one? Stock book value. No book value is given, so we can take it as realizable value is the book value of the money. Any other asset. Any other asset. Check the total of assets. Eight lakh forty nine thousand three hundred seventy assets are there. Liabilities are more than this. So, if P and L account will appear in which side? It's a balancing figure. What is the balancing for? Two sixty two. Two seventy five. Now listen, listen, listen. How to find out profit or loss for the period? Pay attention. What is the P and L account balance on one four two thousand sixteen? One seven two thousand sixteen. Seven thousand five hundred. It's a credit balance. It's a credit balance. Now we worked out now P and L account balance on one seven two thousand seventeen. What is the balance? Two sixty two two seven five, which is a debit balance. So is it a profit or loss? We had a positive balance. It became a negative balance. Did we make profit for the period or loss for the period? Or if you explain through a ledger account, it will be better. When I prepare a P and L account, opening balance as a credit, buy balance brought down. Why what is buy? Why does buy balance brought down? Seven thousand five hundred. Okay, closing balance debit will come as buy balance carried down. It's a debit balance. Closing debit balance. Hello, Arka. Two lakh sixty two thousand two seventy five, which means you made a loss. You made a Last otherwise positive balance became what a negative balance. Positive balance became what a negative balance. You had credit seven thousand five hundred. Now it became what a debit. So what is the loss for the period? Last for the period is this plus operating balance seven thousand five hundred also gone. Two sixty nine seven seventy five. Two sixty nine seven seventy five. Otherwise. You had a positive balance at the beginning. It became negative balance at the end. Now you made a loss for the period. What is the loss for the period? Two sixty nine seven seventy five. Please remember, all these are based on which value? Book value, recorded value. Wait. Now, this is only a last for the period. We worked out which one? Last for the period. Now we have to prepare which account? Deficiency account. Shall we proceed? Any doubt in this balance sheet? Book value of liabilities recorded and book value of assets which are recorded. The balancing for is reserves and surplus, which is a debit balance. Pay attention. Start deficit. Uh, there is check on deficiency account. Deficiency account. First items contributing to deficiency. Okay, trading losses. For the period, just we worked out. What is the trading loss for the period? Two lakh sixty nine thousand seven seventy five. Two lakh sixty nine thousand seven seventy five. Where in it? Check the form. 
non trading losses during the period no such thing loss in realization of assets nari yaar loss in realization of assets so many assets are there parunga look at free hold premises 450000 but what is the what is the realized value difference so loss in realization of assets separately we have to work out what is the first one free hold premises 4 lakh 50000 minus 3 lakh 75000 what is the amount 75000 what is the next asset check the plant and machinery what is the book value minus 1 lakh 70 1 lakh 70 4000 70 3500 then datas book value parunga what is the book value good plus bad plus doubtful 79200 one lakh 1 lakh 17 11 11 what is realizable amount statement of affairs la parunga we worked out 117 117 minus what is realized value 37 37950 how much you get 79 200 then what is the next one any other asset put as free hold property debtors plant and machinery cash in hand there is no loss stock same value realized stock cost in arrears yeah cost in arrears vandu adu vandu there is not a gain or loss Collecting a calls in arrear is it again or loss? Collecting a calls in arrear, capital will go up, cash will go up. This is a gain or loss? No gain, no loss. Then, okay, payment of unrecorded liabilities. Okay, in the balance sheet, what is not recorded? Debenture interest. Debenture interest for the three months paper name. You know more. Three thousand. Then that contingent liability, contingent liability to to pay eighteen thousand. Contingent liability to pay eighteen thousand. Then look at the statement. Okay, see this one trading losses during the period, non trading losses during the period, loss and relation of assets, settlement of what, unrecorded liabilities and which one, contingent liabilities. There is no dividend paid during the period. What about the income tax liability? It's recorded. Income tax due is recorded. Nine to two five is recorded. That is paid in the form of preferential creditors and what other creditors? See, if you settle a recorded liability, there is not a gain or loss. If you pay the recorded liability, there is no gain or loss. Unrecorded liabilities pay for that gain or loss. <coughs> Any other thing? That's all. Then items reducing deficiency. That is, you got excess of capital and reserves over assets on one four two thousand sixteen one seven two thousand sixteen. Nothing but reserves. Check पड़ी पड़ने का answer बंदा B है। This is the deficiency as per list G. अच्छा जी है। H. Otherwise, if you think logically beyond the format, if you think logically, why the deficiency came? Why the deficiency came? Why you are not able to pay? What do you mean by deficiency? Are you able to pay? Or are you not able to pay? You are not able to pay. Why this deficiency came? Because of the trading losses, because of the loss in realization of assets, because of the payment of unrecorded liabilities. The losses came, but anyhow we had resources at the beginning of the period, so that's why this net deficiency came. We are just explaining why you are not able to settle to the extent of 
5 lakh 10,975. That's it. Put only the 5 lakh 10,975. Deficit means somebody will lose the money. Who will lose the money here? Who will lose the money here? Equity shareholders will lose the money. Unsecured creditors also will lose the money. Why are they losing the money? Because of this reason. We just explained. We explain just what? Explain this through a deficiency account statement. So in the exam, they will ask you which one? Statement of affairs with which account? Deficiency account. Now, we will do a problem to understand better or to get a better grip. If I do one more problem, then you will get a better grip. Thereafter, you will say it will be boring, but it's okay. We will do some pro practical problems so that you will understand better. Go through question number three. Please go to which question? Question number 3. Please go to question number 3 now. <coughs> Cash in hand, data, land and building, plant and machinery, furniture, okay, unsecured data are given. 12% debunches, you look at this, secured on which one? <laughs> land and building, so it will come in list B. Floating charge, it will come in what? List D. List D. List C is preferential creditors. Okay. Preferential creditors will come in list C. Share capital. List G. Liability for bill discounted 16,000. Estimated rank 600. 6,000 means? We have discounted bill worth 16,000. 6,000 is defaulted by the other party. We have to pay. This is like a payment of a contingent liability. Estimated rank means other party may fail to pay, we have to pay. How much you have to pay? 6,000. Other contingent liabilities, estimated rank how much? 12,000 means we have to pay 12,000. Workman compensation estimated at 2,000. So all these three are like undercurrent liability to be paid. For bill discounted, how much you have to pay? 6,000. 6, contingent liability you have to pay? 12,000. 12, Workman compensation? 2000, but workman compensation will become which one? Preferential, Preferential creditors. The company had a debit balance of PNL account 50,000 and preliminary expenses amounting to how much? 30,000. There was a balance in of how much? 1 lakh in securities premium on the date. Kuturka. During the current year, the company earned a profit of 1 lakh 20,000 before departure interest and provision for depreciation and income tax is given. The company has paid a dividend also. The company has suffered a total loss of 1,45,000 in 15 and 16. After debenture interest amounted to 6,240 per annum. Provision for depreciation 25,000, 20,000 all those things are given. Proper accounts have not been prepared for which year? 2017. Prepare which account? Statement of affairs and which account? Deficiency account. So first let us do which account? Statement of affairs. Start. Statement of affairs. Ah. Estimated to rank, the bill is estimated to rank to 2000. Number paper is 6000. Total bill we discounted 16000. That's why we have a contingent liability. Means we have to pay 12000. Discounted. Discount is a concept that is used only for recorded liability. It's an unrecorded liability. So whatever is payable is the obligation. So, on the liability for bill discounted, 6,000 we will consider. And the contingent liability to be paid, how much to be considered? 12,000. The unsecured creditors will come as Workman compensation will come as which one? Preferential creditors. Start. Statement of affairs.
Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's a like, liability for bill discounted is a contingent liability. Whatever is estimated to be paid now to be recorded all of them. What are the realizable values given? Data as well. Three thousand six hundred then. Furniture. Twenty thousand then. Which asset is specifically pledged? Land and building. What is the estimated realizable value? Outstanding liability? Surplus or deficit? Summary of assets. Estimated realizable value of assets is 23,700. This one, 6,000. First part is simple to prepare, second part you have to think and do. Estimated. Hmm. Some money will be in London building will be Shall we? Be careful about preferential creditors. If required, I request to read it. Shall we? In this problem, what will come in preferential credit as? 4000 plus 2000. But think, think, think. Look at that. Check the list of preferential credit as. Check the list of preferential credit as which has been given. Read the notes on preferential credit as. Point number two, all wages etc. will be called as preferential creditors. Okay. Look at point number four. 
all amounts due in respect of compensation payable to employees under which one? Workman Compensation Act. Wait. Employee has claimed some money which we are paying. That is called as which one? Workman Compensation Act. Sorry, that is called as Workman Compensation. Will it become preferential? Some compensation paid to the workers will it become what? Preferential. No. Employee would have filed a case in Workman Compensation Act. Through the act, you would have paid that money. Only then it will become which one? Preferential. For example, one employee met with an accident, you are just paying compensation. That will not come under what? Preferential. Clearly mentioned money. Can you mention money? Compensation under which one? Workman Compensation Act only will become preferential. Is it mentioned as under Workman Compensation Act? No, it will not become preferential. It will not become preferential. So, in this problem, preferential creditors, whatever is mentioned, <coughs> what is mentioned in the problem? Ah, only that 4000 will come here. Then, <coughs> what is the surplus available? 25,700. 25, then, Debts having floating charge on all assets. <coughs> Which debt is having floating charge? This 12% debentures. 12% debentures having floating charge on all assets. How much? <coughs> 10,000. After paying that, what is the surplus available? 15,700. Then, Unsecured creditors you have to pay. Who are all unsecured creditors in this problem? Workman compensation given. What is the workman compensation given? 2000 upper. What else? Contingent liability to be paid. To be paid. You have to be paid. Then Bills discounted. 6,000 then. Once again, wait. What is it? Unsecured creditors in balance sheet, how much? 20,000. What is the total? You have to pay 40,000, huh? Yes, uh, Bhuvaneshwari, I will explain. Wait. This preferential creditors, then the workman compensation will become preferential one. When workman compensation will become preferential one, when that compensation is paid according to the workman compensation act. For example, uh, in your company, workman got some injury. You paid the compensation. You just paid the compensation. That is not preferential. The employee should have filed a case under Workman Compensation Act. Then the compensation, if it is paid, that is called as preferential. Clear up with the As per Workman Compensation Act, if the compensation is payable, that is preferential. Direct compensation, voluntary compensation and all will not come. So here just Workman Compensation is given, so it will not become preferential. So it, it is deficit or surplus? Deficit. 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 As regards, which one? Unsecured creditors. Next, any preference shareholders? No. Equity share capital. Equity share capital. Three lakh. Three lakh. Okay, what is equity shareholders amount? 3,20,000. So, net deficit. Net deficit 3,43,300. 3,43,300. Before we go to deficiency account, for this problem also we are not given a complete balance sheet. You have to prepare the balance sheet and find out what? p and account debit balance and work out the profit or loss.
Shall we start balance sheet? Balance sheet. Balance sheet has on what date? Balance sheet has on what date? Thirty first December two thousand. 31st December 2017. Tell me the liabilities. Share capital. What is the amount? 3,20,000. Recorded liabilities only. Please tell it. What are the recorded liabilities? 12% debentures. Debentures. Both ah, both both both. Fifty two thousand. Then what is the next one? Unsecured creditors. What is unsecured creditors balance? Twenty thousand unsecured creditors are wrong. Preferential creditors only required balance sheet values. How much? 4,000 then. What is the next one? Securities premium. Securities premium. How much is mentioned? 1 lakh. Then asset side one. Huh? Cash in hand. Everything book value. What is the cash in hand? 100. Debtors. 4,000 then land and building book value 60,000 then furniture how much 20,000 any other asset which is recorded in books preliminary expense is not there now it was recorded in 2014 year. Ah, there is no adjustment made in securities premium, no bonus issue, nothing is made, so automatically the balance will continue to appear. Same like share capital, securities premium has not been used for any other purpose. This is a PNL account on what date? 4 lakh 11,900 is on what date? 31 12 2017. Debit balance. Look at the information given. On 1st January 2014, the company had a debit balance of how much? 50,000 in PNL account and Preliminary expense are much? 30,000. So, what would have been the total accumulated loss? 1st April, 1st January 2014, including preliminary expenses, accumulated loss. How much? 80,000. So, negative 80,000. Then, what is given next? During 2014, during 2014, the company earned a profit of 
one lakh twenty thousand before interest on debentures sir twelve percent how much fifty two thousand and provide before providing for which one depreciation and income tax all those things are given so what is the net profit made by the company net profit for two thousand fourteen. Tell me the amounts. What is the profit earned given? One lakh twenty thousand in this year to provide debenture interest. How much? Fifty two. How much? Fifty twenty two. Before or after? Before. Fifty two thousand into twelve percent. Fifty two thousand into twelve percent. Fifty two thousand into twelve percent minus minus. What else you have to provide? Depreciation, ah, thirty thousand. Then minus income tax, how much? Twenty-five thousand. Adjust all these things, you will get net profit for that year. How much? Fifty-eight. Seven sixty. Fifty-eight. Seven sixty. Not over. Some more adjustments are given. What is given? The company also paid dividend at rate of what? Fifteen percent for which year? 2014 less dividend for 2014 dividend for 2014 evlo irukku paaru dividend for 2014 3,20,000 3,20,000 into evlo percent 15 percent amma chittil be 48,000 48,000 dividend has been paid minus Then, so this will give us, this will give us accumulated loss on one one two thousand fifteen. What is accumulated loss on one one two thousand fifteen? Six nine thousand two forty. Then losses of 2015 and 16 is given to us. Can you ask last one again? Last part. Last is how much? How much? Not each. Total loss. It's a total loss for both the years after paying the budget interest only given. So how much? One lakh forty-five thousand. So this will give us. Accumulated loss, loss on one one two thousand sixteen. What is accumulated loss on one one two thousand sixteen? Two lakh fourteen thousand two forty. So accumulated loss on one one two thousand sixteen. Wait, 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 wait. What is the P and L account balance on one one two thousand seventeen? This one four lakh eleven thousand nine hundred. Therefore, last for two thousand seventeen. What is the last for 2017? One lakh ninety-seven six sixty. Once again, I repeat. What is the opening balance of accumulated loss? Eighty thousand. Any doubt in it? Net profit after all fifty-eight thousand seven sixty. We paid dividend for that year, so this will give us accumulated loss for one one two thousand fifteen. We had two years losses, so accumulated loss on one one two thousand seventeen. Either accumulated loss on one one two thousand seventeen. Either P and L account balance just now we worked out. This is on thirty one twelve two thousand seventeen. So you can find the debit balance has increased. It's a loss. It's a debit balance. So increase in debit balance is a loss for the current year. Loss for which year? Current year.
Wait, but in the deficiency account, in the year base, where we can start? Can we start with 11 2079 or 11 2014? We can start with anything, we can start with anything, but if you start with 11 2017, ensure that you will make adjustment for which one? Net profit, dividends, then losses for next two years, like that you would adjust. If you start with which one? 11 2014 balance, then you have to make adjustment for which one? 80,000 as a base we start, you have to include a net profit, you have to exclude which one? Dividend to be paid, then losses for next two years and losses for the current year also you have to adjust. In your ICA material, they started with 11-2014. They started with which one? 11-2014. Let us start. Start. Deficiency account. Items contributing to deficiency. Items contributing to deficiency. Accumulated loss. Class on 1, 1, 2014. We start from 1, 1, 2014. What is accumulated loss on 1, 1, 2014? 80,000. Then, the whole period of adjust, everything you have got adjust. What will you do? Net profit will contribute for deficiency or it will reduce deficiency? It will reduce deficiency or minus point. Dividend paid will contribute for deficiency. Add dividend paid for 2014. What is the dividend paid for 2014? 40? 48,000. 48,000. 48, Losses of 2015,16 and 2017. Losses of all the years. That is one lakh forty five thousand and this one lakh ninety seven six sixty. Losses. Upram. Loss in realization of assets. Simple book value less estimated realizable value. What are the assets? Datas. Tell me the book value. What is the book value? Realizable value? So much. 400. Then. What is the next one? London buildings per 60,000 minus. Yeah, please take it along with me. 60,000 minus 48,000, how much? 12,000. Next, what is the next one? What is the next one? Contingent liabilities to be paid. Ah, unreported liability. to be paid. What in all will come? Unrecorded liability, contingent liability to be paid? In an hour. Bills discounted obligation. How much bills discounted obligation? 6,000 then. Workman compensation. Not recorded in the balance sheet separate. 2,000. Other contingent liabilities. 12,000. Take up up to this, then we will continue. So, accumulated loss at the beginning, dividend paid for 2014, losses of the next three years, then loss and realization of assets that happens now, unrecorded liabilities or contingent liabilities to be paid to be adjusted now. These are the items contributed deficiency. Items reducing deficiency, what and all will come? Shares. 
share premium on 11-2014 எவ்வளவு இருக்கு ரிசோர்ஸ் ஒன் லேக் இருக்கு தென் ப்ராஃபிட் இன் விச் இயர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர்டீன் ஆஃப்டர் ஆல் த அட்ஜஸ்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் அ ப்ராஃபிட் மேட் பை அஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி எயிட் தௌசண்ட் செவன் சிக்ஸ்டி மேட் பை அஸ் Are we getting it? Three lakh forty four thousand three hundred. Three lakh forty four thousand three hundred. This is for question number three. Which question is pending? Four. Four. What is that pending? Is it? That's a simple problem. You can try it at home. You can try it at home. Next class, I'll discuss this.